Well, hello there. Thank you for joining me today. Rochelle Clark, The Art of Healing Touch, licensed massage therapist and certified lymphedema therapist. Today we're going to do a short demo for the lymphatic system. I'm going to show you how to do lymphatic massage on your neck. You ask why? Well, there's many benefits to doing the simple technique of opening up the lymphatic system at the base of the neck. It can drain the head and sinuses, and it also has an effect on the entire lymphatic system. In fact, frequently when I'm doing lymphatic drainage on my clients, working on their neck, and we're just getting started, they tell me they can feel movement of the fluid all the way down to the tips of their toes. So it really does have a powerful effect on the overall lymphatic system. Before we get started, I just want to share that there are some contraindications with you and if you ever have any question at all, please check with your medical doctor to see if lymphatic drainage is the right thing for you to do. So first of all, to get started, I want to say that the touch is very light with this form of work. Uh, we're going to work at the venous angle at the neck and uh, I'll show you where that is. So you have the collarbone here or the clavicle and then you're going to follow this beautiful long muscle called the sternocleidomastoid that we'll call the SCM for short. And it attaches on the mastoid process which is this little bony prominence, prominence right behind your ear and along this lovely muscle there's a whole chain of lymph nodes and I actually have a chart back here um, and you can see that the neck is full of lymph nodes. So we're going to be following this chain of lymph nodes from just behind the ear all the way down where it connects to the collarbone. And so, um, and the other piece is the trapezius muscle. So you have this nice triangle here that we'll be working with. And we're going to do that on both sides. So some people like to just place their hands here like this. For me, I find it difficult to have my hands relaxed like this. So for me, I like to cross. And we're going to be focusing on the finger pads, just the finger pads, not the hand. Um, I know that the touch is very light, and it's really hard to quantify that. So um, I'm a very kinesthetic learner. So what I'd like you to do is just place your fingertips on the outside of the sternocleidomastoid, the SCM here, where it connects with the, the clavicle, and just place your fingers right in that nice little triangle there. Just rest your finger pads there, and then gently begin to pump or actually just pull the skin. It's, the touch is so light, you want it to be just light enough where you're gently stretching the skin downward. You're not compressing into the tissues, into the muscle. You're just gently stretching the skin and I'm already feeling myself needing to swallow so when you feel that happen that's a very good thing that means your lymphatic system is activated and starting to flow and you may feel your sinuses starting to drain just by doing this simple movement so you, if you'd like to do both sides at the same time just gently cross your hands or again you can do it like this you try it and see which feels the most comfortable for you so we can start with about 20 of these. They're very slow and rhythmic. About one every one to two, sometimes even three seconds. It's a very slow movement. The lymphatic system does not have a pump like your blood system has the heart. And so it relies on these slow movements to effectively move the lymph. In fact, most people don't realize this is light pressure, very powerful. By doing a, a lymphatic massage, you can actually stimulate the flow of your lymph up to 10 times its normal rate. So that's a profound effect. So you can do 20 to 40 of these to start. I know that there are many that recommend do 50 to 100, and that's totally fine. There are days when I do that myself, when I feel like I need a little extra boost, maybe for my sinuses, if I'm starting to get a head cold, I just need a little extra drainage from the head then by all means, you're welcome to do more. There we go again. So now you have a couple of options. You can come up to the top of the neck where I showed you this nice little bony prominence and just rest your hand 
across the back there, or you can put your fingers together where they meet, right at the base of the skull, which is known as your occipital ridge there, and just place your fingers right below the ridge of your skull and gently pump down to drain the back of the neck. And you can do as many of those as you like. You can do 20 to 40, even up to 100 if you wish. For today, I'm not going to do that many for the video, but that opens up the back of the neck and I can feel my ears starting to drain, even though uh, we haven't gotten to the ears yet. So um, you can cross your hands like this or like this, just behind the ear, and gently pull the fluid down. As you pull the fluid down gently, remember it's a very light touch. The pressure is just enough to stretch the skin. Or you can do this nice glide by resting your index finger along your jaw and just gently do a very light effleurage stroke. And what that means is you're, again, contacting the skin with just enough pressure to lightly stretch the skin and you should feel the fluid moving easily. For some, the lymphatic system is a little more congested and you may not notice it moving right away. Just continue to do that until you feel that trickling or the need to swallow or clear your throat. We'll go ahead and do the other side. And you can do 20 to 40 or more if you wish. Again, I mentioned some people like to do 100, so feel free to do as many as you like. Bringing that fluid all the way down to the venous angle, right where the SCM connects with the clavicle or the collarbone. And as you bring that fluid down, I feel my ears opening up and my sinuses opening up. And I can actually feel some movement in my arms. So this really is a very powerful short treatment for the lymphatic system. Now, I, I love this move. Are you a Trekkie fan? So uh, you're just going to gently, you have uh, li uh, little lymph nodes in front of and behind your ear. And just by placing your fingers in front of and behind your ears and gently pulling down, that will stimulate more release of the fluids from your sinuses, your face, your head. And we'll do the final rinse down the neck and then gently pumping and stretching the skin right here at the neck. And that's it for opening up the neck, lymphatic massage for the neck. It has many benefits. If you would like to learn more, if you like what you saw today and you want to learn more, check out my website for my top 10 tips for a healthy lymphatic system at rochelleclark.com or theartofhealingtouch.com. Thank you and have a great day.